All right, so we're in the nursery right now. So what Force is doing is uh, spraying a little neem oil on the Chardonnay. We had a little mite problem on the uh, on the Chardonnay. Definitely try to get under. Yeah, I'm trying to get it up, like back behind those it. leaves because that's where the mites actually live. They actually exist under the leaf. Let's see if we can find one that was damaged. Yes, 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 right here. Let's see if you can see this. But uh, you see how this is a this is a really really healthy leaf right here, and then this one has this bubbling kind of boiling effect on it. Did you bring the the magnifying glass? Damn it, you didn't, did you? Mm -mm. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even grab uh, my normal vineyard bag. Well, uh, I was gonna try to uh, to look at this under the uh, the magnifying glass, but uh, uh, this is where the mites actually live on the underside of this leaf. It's kind of hard with this camera to really kind of see it, but you can see the bubbling effect that I'm talking about. And this is a blistering. And it happens because the uh, the mites are eating the underside of the uh, of the leaf, and what these mites do is they uh, they winter in the buds. And so when we got these from Adelson, uh, these mites were were in there, and they're. The nursery is really, really susceptible because they're just young, young little vines. Uh, when you're dealing with a, an already established vineyard, it's not as susceptible because you're spraying, you know, from bud break all the way through. And with this nursery, we're not coming through Let's see if you can you can see how how close together these rows are. My hey Max. So my feet are right here. So that's how far apart uh, the rows in the nursery are. So we can't really get a tractor through here to uh, to do a sulfur spray. And plus, uh, these vines are so low to the ground that the uh, the sulfur spray wouldn't wouldn't get there anyway. And so this is what we're doing: is using a little neem oil to uh, to try and get rid of these mites. The neem oil comes from the uh, the neem tree, and it's an organic uh, organic product. We're in, we're not really an organic vineyard. We're a sustainable vineyard. Uh, we do use sulfur, but uh, this is a really, really good thing for these uh, these Chardonnay. I've the reason that I really want this is because I don't want to see <laughs> these these vines suffer because I've been pushing for us for you know two years almost to uh, to get some some Chardonnay up here at high elevation. And we finally got this last year uh, from David Adelsheim, and I just don't want to—I uh, <laughs> don't want to see these things go to, uh, you know, go to a suffering point that they don't have to go to. But they're looking good. Yeah, they are. They're looking a hell of a lot better than they did last week, actually. I mean, overall, the growth and the health of all the leaves. So yeah. I thought last week that the uh, it looked like everything was really suffering and really falling apart. Yeah, I did too. And this, I mean, this week stuff looks really good. Well, I guess it was two weeks ago that we were we were talking about that, but yeah, this is looking really good though. They're, uh, I think they're enjoying the, uh, the 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 sunny days and the uh, the warmth. And I think this neem oil will uh, do nothing but uh, but help them. It can't hurt them, <laughs> you know? Let's 
So I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about uh, where we are. So we're up in the uh, the Shehalem Rim, looking out uh, on to Parrot Mountain, right there. And I will uh, kind of walk over here. I'll show you the rest of the uh, the rows. This is Chardonnay. Let's see how the uh, Soko Blosser uh, 12 row is doing. Look at that. I mean, really look at that. Wow. I mean, that's really doing well. It really likes it up here. And we weeded uh, since the last time that you've seen this also. Since the last time that I've taken a video. And so, uh, just trying to uh, to cut down on the uh, 